This week we are going to review the Drinkwell Platinum Pet Fountain and also the official Drinkwell Cleaning Kit by Veterinary Ventures Inc. So we're going to start by disassembling the Drinkwell Platinum Pet Fountain and then we're going to clean it using the official cleaning kit that they have and I'm going to point out some really great features about this uh, pet fountain as I go. The first is the lid on the very top here. Um, what's really great about it is that it snaps on just like that. Um, and if you have cats like I do, then some of the other comparable pet fountains have a lid that doesn't snap on and what that ends up doing is making it easy for paws to flip it up and toss it off, which um, I'm my cats were notorious for doing. Inside this um, top part here is where the filter goes and you just slide it in that place and as you can see it is pretty dirty and actually what we're going to do is we're just going to replace that filter altogether um, as it's about time. Um, the back compartment is a large area which is where all the water goes. It screws off fairly easily and this holds 168 ounces of water that um, is great for multiple cat households because it is a very large compartment, uh, much larger than some of the other pet fountains out there. Um, the top piece comes off very easily, as you can see, just pops right off. And inside that's left is just an extra little piece right here, and this is what they call the hair catch. And this actually is. Um, it's something added that they put in that some of the other models don't have is it's a pre-catch so that way hair and fur will get caught in this before it actually gets taken up and through the filter so you have two levels of um, hair catching through this fountain which is actually really helpful a lot and you can actually if you don't feel like cleaning it all out then you can even easily just pull this out and clean it off and that gets like 90 percent of the hair and fur in the to begin with and what you're left is just the last piece here, which I'm going to empty the water out. Here's the little motor that suctioned, gets suctioned on and gets dirty as well. Um, and we'll clean that out. And this is the piece that actually controls uh, the flow of water. So you, this actually, when you turn it, once it gets in there, turns it and makes it faster or slower. Okay, the next part of this review is the actual cleaning kit itself and you get these three pieces which are very hard bristle um, cleaners and this one actually has sponge at the end and I know if you're sitting there you're thinking why on earth would I need to buy an extra cleaning kit for this and that it's so easy to take apart that you could probably just clean it yourself and although you're correct in that it's easy to take apart there are areas you can just not get in yourself and yes you can scrub and get in those areas but like the hole where the water comes up through the motor that's almost really impossible to get all the way clean considering actually how long it is and this tool actually works so great you just slide it all the way in you can twist and scrub and clean that whole piece and then you just pull it straight out like that and that gets into that hard to reach area and really gets it clean because it does get a buildup of water residue, fur, food, whatever ends up making it into your actual uh, pet fountain there and it's really useful. Um, the other large component cleaner is this one that has the sponge attached to it and um, at first I really didn't know if this would be as handy as it looks and let me tell you it is. You simply put it in to the large water compartment piece and you can use it to sponge and scrub as you can see all in this large thing which not unless you have really tiny hands are you ever going to be able to get into this compartment to really scrub it out and get it really clean. And that's where the water is and which is the most important part to have clean for your cat. And the last piece that needs to be cleaned is this motor and I left it this way purposely so that way you can see all that build up and that funky gunk stuff that gets in there from your cats, from their fur, from the food and this little piece in here, look how easy that is. It literally just takes all that gunk off onto the brush itself and 
cleans up the motor so easily and you can even throw it inside the compartment there and twist around and clean that part out too and it's really helpful it literally cuts down the time of cleaning this large kit within minutes versus you know tens of minutes and that's actually the most important part about getting the cleaning kit is that it cuts down your time it cleans it effectively and just as easy to use the last piece is pretty easy. You don't need any special pieces to clean this out. You can just take your normal sponge and just scrub and get it all cleaned and make sure it's that squeaky clean and that's it. Drinkwell offers uh, the filters um, to purchase separately. Um, they come in three packs and they suggest replacing them every two to four weeks. Um, when you take out a brand new filter, they do recommend, since it's a charcoal filter, to rinse it out under water make sure that no charcoal pieces or whatever come out and once you're done it's ready to be put inside okay I have just thoroughly washed it out and as you saw I just used plain water to make it that squeaky clean that you want to hear um, I actually would suggest maybe using vinegar or something else if you wanted to try that. I wouldn't necessarily put dishwasher soap or anything like that because unless you really get it clean there is no way to determine if any soap residue is left on the fountain and you, that's not something you want to have because you don't want any of your cats to ingest any of that mixed in with the water. So the first part that can be put in is the motor. Just like that it fits right in that perfect square as I've shown. Uh, the cable disconnects from the actual um, outlet part of it and it allows you to just put it in through this hole here without having the outlet piece attached to it which may make it extremely difficult. And on the side is you can see this is angled up and that's to allow the cord to come out when you set it on the ground so that way it doesn't rest on top of the cable or anything like that. After that, you can just put um, the top on. This piece goes directly, attaches onto the motor hole right there, but you don't need to really eyeball it. If you just follow the holes of where this attaches to, and you just snap it on like, just like that, it automatically covers that hole right there, which is due to their um, great design of this fountain. Uh, the water component, you can twist that top back on and you just place it in. You get um, a nice filter here. The back side, the black side goes in first. Place it just right in the top, just like that. And the extra catch piece, just snaps right into place just like that and then all you need is the lid just like that and that's as easy as it is to put back together just fill it up with water and we're gonna plug it in and I'm gonna show you how it sounds and what it looks while it's on okay we have it all cleaned out filled up with water you can now plug it in and you take that outlet um, connection right there from the motor into the other AC adapter that plugs into your wall that has this connection to it. You just simply plug the two in just like this and then you take this and just plug it into the wall here and it's going to start up and as the water you can see here if I remove the lid starts coming up into the actual piece there. It's flowing over the top, flows up and in there, and as it gets all the way up to the top here, it's going to overflow and that's what's going to start the fountain. And there you go. Put the snap lid back on, and as I said, this component right here controls the speed. So if I turn it the other way, you can see that the water has thinned out, and it's a slow dripple. If I throw it all the way to the opposite end, 
it flows much uh, more and extends out that way and you can choose anywhere in between. And as you can tell, it is incredibly quiet. You can't really hear the motor. The only sound that you're hearing is the actual water trickling down the slide component right there. And it is very quiet. You won't even hear it. And your cats are going to love it.